you laughing? And I like went in and told everyone I wanted to be a cereal maker. Well, because we like passed the General Mills place in New Mexico and you could smell fresh like Cocoa Puffs every morning. And I just imagined like how good would that be to be in there with the chocolate warmness of a cereal? If it's classified as a lesbian film, that can also really pigeonhole it and that mm -hmm. makes it a really, really limited market. Um, so I hope that it comes off, which I think is everybody's goal, that it's just a human story and people love and hopefully like with Nikki's character, if Nico can come off and play that she's she just loves people for people, so it doesn't matter. And yes, two women ended up having a connection, and that's fine, you know? And I think that's great, because in soccer world, there's always, first of all, for being gay, there's that misconception that there are no gay people because there's not really any out-out people, so that's huge for us, too. Like, clearly, everybody playing soccer is gay. Just kidding. But then all the straight people need to be represented as well. Like, it's really about just the love of soccer and the team camaraderie and all of that. And you can support each other, and it doesn't matter on your sexuality or your religious views or your political views because when it comes down to it and you're playing on a team that's the thing I love the best is you're just playing and you have that two hours of just like pure everything stops around you in the world and you're just playing and that's that so hopefully any soccer fan any dramatic fan anybody it's going to fulfill everyone so hopefully people won't say it's just a lesbian film because it's going to be so awesome. they'll pigeonhole us for more information on Queens of the World go to queensoftheworld.com this has been a pregame with Natalie Garcia. Watch for more game game. Oh. And then post game. What? Maggie's Magnificent Adventures cereal flakes. Like that's what I would call them.